So a brief overview of uh, what Airflow is uh, for those of us uh, who are completely new to the tool. So the um, so Airflow originated at Airbnb in 2015. This initiative was started by a person named Max Eugene, uh, who had uh, uh, created a similar infrastructure at Facebook for their data swarm application. In 2016, Airflow joined Apache Incubator program and it has been gaining in popularity ever since. So when it comes to data, what is one common thing people want to do? A common thing is probably at a given schedule, you want to collect data from various different sources, do something with this data, probably apply more computes and metrics to this data, and then either store it in our data warehouse or in a file system, or broadcast this data in the form of reports to several different users. So think of Airflow as an alarm clock in this diagram. Uh, this alarm clock says now it's a time to trigger a pipeline. Now a pipeline can contain uh, several different tasks. Uh, I can choose to have a task execute uh, before one uh, before another task or I can have several tasks execute in parallel this task and this execution and airflow world this pipeline in airflow world is called as DAG now DAG stands for directed acyclic graph because we cannot have cyclic dependencies among the tasks or our task or our pipeline will never finish so that's what Airflow is. That's what it does. It actually executes the pipeline. We can programmatically uh, author uh, this pipeline uh, just by writing some code. And uh, our task uh, can have dependencies among themselves. And uh, Airflow would execute it. There is a smart scheduling and we will look into that. And that's what the Airflow is.